I began learning about things pointing to the seventh generation. And you've got to look a long way up and think about it, which led me to understanding and learning about ideas around sustainability. So in the early days of sustainability, this is one of the only and the best and first places where you could learn about sustainability. The IISD had a great program, uh, lots of material, and then I ran across Mike Nickerson's little book on planning for the seven generations, which changed a lot of part of my life. I began learning about language of sustainability, that the three-legged stool represents constituencies, which must be brought into balance. And that's where the medicine really shows up. As a result of all of that, I started to say a sustainability commission in my town. Uh, and these are some of our accomplishments. Uh, our principal accomplishment, however, was participating for two years in the development of our town's master plan. And in that master plan, we made sure that sustainability became a part of each one of those components of the master plan, rather than a separate chapter at the end of the plan. And the plan was public, we got some pushback. So I asked one of the leaders of the people who were pushing back to sit down over coffee, and let's talk together and find out what their issues really were. They were concerned about things like uh, all of the requirements, all of the undiluted objectivity. And then my libertarian daughter showed up and says, nobody's going to tell me to ride my bicycle to work. So I felt, okay, if this is a representative sample of some of the people in town, sustainability is not going to work. It's not going to be sustainable. So I needed to look around for a new something. And there I discovered the happiness initiative. So I began to learn the language of happiness. And part of that was running out to Seattle and getting certified in 2012. And my hero, the, the queen of the paradigm shift, uh, is, went from old sustainability to happiness, and she made it look pretty sad. We developed a, a graphic that integrated the three-legged stool of sustainability with the ten domains of happiness, which allows people who are interested in sustainability to relate to the ten domains. Now, I began to teach courses on Native American values to Native people and non-Native people, so that we could all we all had a common value suite that we came from when we began talking about these kinds of. Then we saw the Living in Balance, uh, the Personal Happiness Handbook. And I talked to Laura about it, and we decided that I, one of the things I would try to do would be to integrate the two ideas together. And we did it on the basis of the medicine wheel, which looked at the four quadrants of human capabilities in the medicine wheel. And this became the goal of where we are now. Thank you.